Hi, it's Donna, your homegrown gourmet, half of the Gourmet Are Good Enough team with my twin sister, Diane. Today I want to share with you one of my favorite seasonal recipes. I'm making punchki. That's right, I said punchki. Punchki is a Polish dessert that's usually made before the Catholic Lenten season, and it was a way for families to use up the eggs and the butter so it wouldn't spoil or go to waste during those 40 days of Lent. In the bigger cities along the Great Lakes like Chicago, Detroit, Cleveland, where I grew up, they actually celebrate Punchki Day on Fat Tuesday the day before Ash Wednesday. And it's not unusual to see people circling the block of Polish bakeries waiting in line for these donuts with the decadent fillings of custard or fruit. So let's get started. To start our Punchki, we want to cream some butter and sugar together. We want to add our eggs. A little bit of salt, a couple tablespoons of brandy. I have five cups of flour that I mixed in one and a half tablespoons of instant active yeast. And then I have a cup and a half of warm milk. That was five cups of flour. I'm adding another cup slowly. Okay. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. I'm going to switch, put the dough hook on. Go a little faster speed, put it on medium for about five minutes or so. There we go. Okay, so it's been about six minutes and our dough has come together. We're gonna shut it off. And we're gonna remove it from the dough hook. And then cover it and put it in a nice warm spot until it doubles in size. So my dough has doubled in size. I cut it in half and now I'm going to knead it a little bit. I'm rolling this out to about a half an inch thickness. This dough smells fabulous. I can smell the egg and the brandy in here. It feels so silky. So rolling it out to about half of an inch, have a three inch biscuit cutter. I'm gonna cut rounds. The nice thing about this dough is you can take the scraps and re-roll it, use it all up. I'm gonna put this on a parchment lined baking sheet, cover it with a damp tea towel and give it about half an hour to 45 minutes to proof one more time. Meantime, I have my oven preheating to 375. It's been 10 minutes and my punchki are done. And I checked by inserting a cake tester right in the center here and it came out nice and dry. Now, of course, these wouldn't be punchkis if they didn't have a filling. Today, I'm doing two types. So I took my warm punchkis and put a little bit of melted butter and rolled them in sugar. Now I'm going to fill those with my homemade blackberry jam. So I have this really nice tip and you'll see it's angled right here. It's the perfect length to uh, go into the side of the donut and then it, it's angled so that it gives a really nice filling. And it's, a biz, it's called a Bismarck tip. You can find those online. It's best to fill your donuts while they're still warm because it's much easier to get into the dough. So I'm just going to punch a hole, poke a hole, press it in there, and squeeze. Oh, you can kind of feel it filling up. Punchkis are best eaten the same day you make them, although you can cover them loosely and uh, store them room temperature for about 40, up to 48 hours. But they really are good the same day. Next, 
lemon curd. So batch number two is done and they are going to be filled with my homemade lemon curd. I'll put a link in the description below so you can make your own. I am going to put a glaze on these so I'll fill them but I'll have to wait till they're completely cool before I put that glaze on. I like to make a really thick icing. I just have powdered sugar and lemon juice. I'm going to take one of the punch keys and dip it. Lemon glaze and lemon filled. Perfect. Ciao and happy punch key day. Darn, I filled it upside down. Oh well, that's for the cook.